Hey guys, Nicky Kitty Game Dev here, and this is going to be part 5 of our ping ink tutorial. And what I want to do in this one is make it so we can kind of, I guess you could say, ping locations. So we want to be able to get a location that we can ping. So what we're going to do is inside of our character, let's go ahead and head on over. And we'll bring up both. Is we want to set up a simple function that we can call that will allow us to perform a trace and find a location to ping. So. I'll just do it right on the protect section. We're going to do a U function, blueprint callable, category I'm just going to set to tutorial. So this is going to be void ping location. And do, 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 I can't really think of anything else to really have in it for the time being, but let's go ahead and run it. And what we're going to do is just simply perform a line trace and I want to draw a debug line to, uh, to and from. So that way I can confirm that everything's working. So I know our starting location is going to be our F vector start, and that's going to be our camera. So camera, let's see, not the camera boom, be our follow camera, get component location, and then our endpoint. So that's going to be F vector, end equals start plus follow camera, get component, or better yet, we have get our forward vector, and we're going to multiply this one by. Uh, let's do 2,000. That should give us a good position there. So now we just want to draw a debug line. So draw debug line, get world, start, end. And then we have, let's see, color. So I have color. I'm going to do red. Persistent lines false. Then the lifetime. I will do three seconds. Depth priority zero and thickness we will do. Let's do we'll do two. So this should allow us to kind of get a rough visual. Now we just kind of you know set it up so we can call it from our blueprint, just for the sake of and not having to set up inputs. Okay, so that's finished. Let's set up a input event. So I search for left mouse button just so I can easily change that to middle mouse. And we want to call that function. So search for ping. I'm going to call ping location. Okay, I want a middle mouse. And there we have our line. So it's going pretty much wherever we set it to. Apparently these are... Hmm, I didn't know you could see them through stuff unless that's part of the... I don't know. But it's working as intended. So we have our end kind of point. So that's going to basically be our collision. So when we perform our line trace, we want to get our blocking hit. So I'm going to go ahead and move these to constants because they're not going to change. And now perform our line trace. So first off, that's going to be stored in hit result. So F hit result, hit result. If let's do line trace. No, that's off of the world. Get world line trace single by channel. We'll do visibility. I'm going to output to the hit result, taking our start and our end location. Collision channel is going to be ECC underscore visibility. And we are probably going to want to ignore ourselves. So that's going to be the F collision query params. So F collision query params, query params. And we want to add ignored actor. And that's going to be ourselves. So we're just going to pass in this. And then that'll be our third parameter, or one, two, three, fifth parameter. And inside of here, we actually have our you know hit result that we can deal with because this returns true if a blocking hit was found. So here's kind of where we want to, as you could say, adjust our ping location. However, we don't have access to our ping class because we're not. You know, we don't have one. So my idea behind it is I want to, when our character is created, I want it to create a simple ping uh, actor that will be used for this whole kind of system. So what we can do is actually spawn it and kind of handle it as needed. So I do want to set this to replicate as well because it is going to take in certain things. So B replicates equals true, just on the ping.cpp. So in our ping tutorial character.cpp, let's go to begin play. Which is somewhere. Does it not have it? All right, 
I guess it doesn't have it by default. So let's create our begin play. Go ahead and override it. Make sure you call it super. And here we want to do a check. So if we have authority, what I want to do is I want to spawn a ping. So because we have a C++ class, we're going to want to get a blueprint class for this as well. So what we can do is have a simple U property that kind of does it for us. So U property, we'll do edit default only and category equals tutorial. And here we want to have a T subclass of the type is going to be what well, we can forward declare it a ping. And this is going to be called ping class. Let's actually move this forward declaration up like so, because we're going to be using it again. Okay, so we have our ping class. Now we just got to make sure that we do have it. So if we have authority and our ping class is valid, let's see. Oh, wait, oh, I just got to uh, include it. So let's go ahead and include our ping class. So public ping.h. And that should fix up that from complaining. So if our ping class is valid and we're, we have authority, what we want to do is we want to spawn the ping class. So get world, spawn actor, type is going to be a ping, and then the type is going to be ping class. And that's it. Then we just want to store this. So I'm going to give it a name of, let's just call it ping actor. and a ping, ping actor. So we're going to go ahead and store it in here. Okay, so this should kind of create it for us. Now I do want to replicate the ping actor, just so once it spawns from the server, the client will receive it. So we can set that to be the owner. So that's the only person that's going to replicate to. So I'm going to actually move begin play up above ping location. And I want to move both of these up above all this crap. So up near the top. I really hate how ugly they kind of set everything up by default. So begin play happens. We spawn our ping actor. We want to replicate this down to our client. So we need our do rep, yeah, do rep lifetime function here. So let's go ahead and set this actually to replicate. So we're going to do a U property. And it's just going to simply be replicated. Nothing more. Now we need the do rep lifetime props. Trying to, I can never remember how to spell it. Let me Google. Alrighty. So I'm going to put that right below begin play. So all it is is get lifetime replicated props. Takes in a T array of F lifetime properties. Make sure it's by reference. Clean that up the way I type it. And there we go. So now we just want to do do rep lifetime. And that's going to be for the class a pinging tutorial character. And the thing we want to replicate here is going to be our ping actor. Now it's complaining. Let's go ahead and include net unreal network dot h. And there we go. So now pinging actor is now being replicated. So this should give us access to it for uh, later use. That's for be for the clients. So the way we can kind of test this is just, well, hit play. And then I guess on this case, if ping actor, what we want to do is ping actor set location to be the hit result dot, I'll just do the location. So let's give this a try. Okay, finish compiling. Now let's watch it crash. So I middle mouse and let's see, do not see anything. And that's also partially because we never actually set the class. So in our character blueprint, let's find, here's our ping class, set it to BP underscore ping. So now we middle mouse, there we go. So it's moving it around as we need. So we are going to want to offset the Z location so we can set up some more properties for things like that. 
trying to find like a really good spot to, but everything's kind of off. <laughs> but you can see it's just kind of reusing the same thing. All right. So we have the basics set up. We have the basics for moving. We're going to clean this up. So in the next video, we're going to kind of start tackling all that and making things a lot more, I guess you could say, visual friendly, so to speak, just so they look a lot prettier. But either way, that's going to be all for this video. I'm going to delete this ping. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, or I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hop in the Discord. That's linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.